soaring through the air on the flying trapeze? Well, at Zerk School in Los Angeles, they're making this dream a reality, and it's a really great workout, too. Zerk School is a circus school for anybody with any body located here in Hollywood. I have never done anything like this before. I love going to all the Cirque Soleil shows, and I'm always fascinated by it, um, so I'm actually very excited to try all these out. We teach a wide range of circus skills, including handstands, contortion, flexibility, all the aerial arts. I think it's really important to give adults a, a playground, a place for them to go learn and be inspired to be fit in a different way, a way that's challenging for them, not only for their body, but obviously for the mind as well. And today, I'm up for the challenge. What are we doing first? So first, we're going to warm you up and do a little bit of stretching to begin. I mean, I'm a little nervous. I don't have a lot of upper body strength. If you commit to it and you really find that you fall in love with the addiction of circus training, it changes your life. You ready, guys? Let's do this. All right, let's go. Okay. Hands on the knees, hips parallel. OK, shake the booty side to side. Nice little hips, nice long neck. Three, two, one. I just did the warm up. Extend the toes straight up in the sky. Four. And I have to tell you, it's actually harder than I thought. And I thought I had a pretty good core and stability. Apparently, not so much. Throw and catch. And be adventurous with that throw, my dear. Yes! Excellent. I feel good though. I'm warmed up. I'm ready for the next step. Very good. Okay. Let's go place the balls back. And we're going to get ready for some handstands, okay? Yeah, I need to practice all that. <laughs> <laughs> My handstand, I thought I was going to kick the people next to me. You can go right here. I feel like I should go so I don't kick you guys. <laughs> I'm okay, you. I'll be here to spot you. Okay, maybe I should go in the corner or something. Ready, team? Three, two, one. Kick up. Woo! Excellent. It's harder than push, push, push. Three, two, one, and kick down. Yes, very nice. Good job. <laughs> Swing the arms backwards. Three, two, one. One direction, one the other. It's a little bit of coordination. Yes. Maybe try the other direction. Yeah, that direction might be easier. This is good homework. This is good homework for everybody to learn how to do. One, one direction, one the other. I can't do it. I'm gonna move over to trapeze now. Okay. So here we go. I've never been on a trapeze before. I assume it's similar to swing. I heard you need a lot of upper body strength. I don't know about my arms. I know I have a little bit of muscle, as you can see. You know? <laughs> How do you get up here? I'm going to show you in a second. This is where you learn and master all the basic aerial skills. So all the other skills that you do in circus, you usually learn them all in the trapeze because it's a fixed point. It's really good for you to learn alignment, muscle control, and proper body awareness. I guess you're using upper body and mm -hmm. lower. You're going to feel it in a second. All right. Okay. Ready to go? Okay. First thing you're going to do is pull the lats down your back five times. So we're learning to have proper shoulder control. Now we're going to place our knees onto the bar. So let's get a foot up onto the bar and help you get up. Perfect. And the knees are going to go all the way onto the bar. Yes. So those knees are open up and you're going to point your toes. Good. Slowly release. There you go. Super. And you don't even need my hands here. So we're going to sit up and push your toes out towards the mirrors. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Ooh. So you guys, I want you to be balancing without your hands. It's yeah. a lot of stability, like yeah. you said. And a bit of calm, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three, okay. two, one. Straighten your toes out towards the wall. Good. Left hand comes off. Rotate the hips. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Beautiful. This leg is going to lift up, go through the ropes, and send it down to the floor, and look out towards me, towards this hand. Yes. There you go. Mermaid angel. Beautiful. That's it. Good control. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. And you're done with trapeze. So, on to the aerial fabric. I'm most nervous about these red fabrics. The first thing we're going to do is see if we can get you to climb up to the top. Okay. My arms are so little, I don't think I can do it. The goal is to be able to use the whole body instead of just the upper body. So, we're going to use your legs to help propel you up. Okay. And we're going all the way up. Or you're going to tell me. So you're going to send your hands up nice and high. And now you're going to place your left foot, the other foot, right on top of that foot. So that becomes your lock. Okay. Perfect. Just bend your knees and push off your feet. Okay. Bingo. 
See? You see how your feet are working, your inner thighs are working? Good. And my heart rate's up. Your heart rate. I get dizzy very easily. Um, I get motion sickness very easily. So hopefully we're not spinning fast because I just had to make all the time and I don't want to see that. Yes, there you go. Now arch your body. You're not just focusing on one muscle. You're thinking of your hands, your feet, your head, like how you're supposed to look. It's mentally and physically challenging. To make it look so beautiful and easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it was so challenging. I mean, I still feel my muscles in my arms. Yeah, not just this anymore. <laughs> all about these muscles. I loved it. I would definitely do it again. I never imagined I can do any of this. You're a rock star. Knights on first look. These are super important, so we're gonna look up. My name is Kirk Allen. I'm a parkour teacher. I'm the owner of Parkour Waves right here in Chicago. Parkour is getting from point A to point B using your environment creatively. A lot of precision jumping, balance work, swimming, vaults. We use benches, rails, walls. Trees, stairs. Garbage can. Basically, you don't need any equipment. It's the cool thing about parkour. It's like playing in the playground for adults. So tonight we're going to take Audrina through kind of a full class. I'm ready to get started. Let's do this. All right. So we're going to start with a pretty intense warm up and I'll get right into the movement. All right. All right. So we're going to start with standing on one foot, just rotating that ankle and just circles through the hips. The knees are super important. So we're going to look up. Literally every one of our movements we need to have balance for. My balance is really bad. It so we're going to walk using opposite hand and foot. Okay, so if my left hand is moving to the side, then my right foot is moving. Okay. I'm a little slow. Sorry. Oh, feet in. All the way up. Back down. Feet back. Both feet in. Two more times. Left leg. That's a really intense warm up. Hips up. <laughs> This is really hard. This is the warm-up still, right? Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm definitely warmed up. That was intense. <laughs> but I'm excited to see what the basic moves are. Alright, let's get over. Okay. We've gone through some vaults, some climbing, things like that. You want to bring your foot out a little further away. Mm -hmm. We're going to be on the walls, using our hands, you know, getting nice and close to the concrete. Remember to give it some space. That, and then... And then the other one too. It'll be cool to see her pushing herself. So if I show you over the bench. Same thing. You just cleared okay. that so easy. <laughs> I can do it. Ready? Go for it. <laughs> I hear this rip. My pants just rip. Oh, it ripped right in the butt. <laughs> well, I'm determined to get over this wall. My more experienced classmates are doing some really impressive work. Our cool workout is most definitely supposed to be intense. It's supposed to push you to the end of your limit. My favorite part of the workout is that emotion where like, oh. Did I really just do that? I do it every week, once a week, twice a week, three times a week, and I'll keep on doing it until I can. Finally, it looks like my practice is about to pay off. Nice? Yeah. Felt good, right? It felt good. <laughs> it's kind of a huge confidence boost, too. So just being able to move your body in new ways and kind of learning about yourself is really cool. But I think maybe we need to try it backwards. Backwards? Mm -hmm. For this being my first time, I was kind of shocked at the level of difficulty. You feel like you kind of maneuvered around. Oh, uh, yeah. And use it to help you find your balance. But it's very empowering. After you conquer and you actually do these different exercises, you feel so accomplished. Nice. Being able to get over obstacles in the physical environment really translates to obstacles in your mind. Awesome. That one felt good. Yeah, that one looked good. Well, I have to say, I will never look at a park the same ever again. I will always be thinking, what can I balance on? What can I vault over? And jumping. I hope you keep that mentality with you. You'll be great today and uh, continue to train. I will. Tonight on First Look, we're all about fitness. So, you want to get in shape but need to change up your routine? Well, thanks to a new European import, working out will never be the same. This is aqua cycling. 
aqua cycling is very similar to an indoor cycling class, except it happens in the pool, so you're pedaling against the water resistance. I personally discovered it in Paris two years ago. I took a class and I loved it. And now two years later, there's probably 50 studios in Paris doing uh, what they call aqua biking. So what are the benefits to aqua cycling? The water keeps your body temperature cool, so you don't overheat and you can push yourself even more. There is this amazing natural massage that you get from the water. It drains your lymphatic system and helps eliminate toxins. I can't wait to get in there and try this out. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. So I guess I'll go suit up and hop in the water. After Esther explained everything that we're doing, I feel like I'm in really good hands and this is going to be such an amazing experience. So after a quick change, I meet the master instructor, Emma, and we're good to go. My typical workout usually consists of either going to the gym and running or doing Pilates classes. I've never done anything like this. I've tried spinning classes before, um, and I have to be honest, they weren't my favorite, but I do love the water. because we actually come in and we take over your city streets, the parks, the farms, wherever the apocalypse is coming, we invade the entire town. This is a fun run which features zombies throughout every single mile. We have zombies staged throughout the entire course. It is the most extreme and suspenseful zombie run across the nation. It's all about fun, but it's teamwork, staying together. That's why we brought a big group. We got six people here with us, sticking together and helping. That's what it's all about. I'm with this guy. This is my first race, so this is going to be an all-new experience to me. But before the apocalypse hits, let's find out how this race works. As a participant, when you register for the zombie run, you sign up as either a runner or a zombie. So runners, when you sign up, you come to our race, you have to run an hour ahead of time, and you get your life belt, your life flags, everything in your bib, and you take off for our start shoot. Each runner is equipped with one life belt and three life flags, and their goal for the run is to try and hold on to all three of their life flags until they cross the finish line, proving that they have survived the apocalypse. Whereas the zombies show up about two hours ahead of time, and they get a complete zombie makeover from our professional makeup artist. And we'll stage them out throughout the course, and their goal is to steal our runners' life flags. All right, if you want to survive the apocalypse, it's time to run like you mean it. Being chased by someone or chasing someone, that adds an entirely new element that you're not going to find in another race. You're going to be 
because it's really different than any other 5K run out there. It gives you the chance to really set this goal for yourself and say, okay, I'm going to try and conquer these obstacles, work with my team. I'm not going to lie, that wasn't the most fun part. We hope that this is the first of many 5Ks for our participants. trainer for Women's Health Magazine to dive into the new workout craze that's coming to a gym near you. Hey, Jen. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Okay, what are we doing today at Crunch? We're going to go to a really fun new class called Surf Set and Sand. And it is real surfboards on a bunch of like pods that kind of simulate the water movement. It really is a fun way to kind of get that instability water feeling that we can't get all the time yeah. in New York. City surfing. City surfing, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, should we get stretched and get ready? Let's go. Okay. Surfing is an amazing workout. I mean, full body, your core, your legs, your butt, everything. It's amazing. I'm really excited for today because if this day is really like surfing, you can do it anywhere. You don't always have to be at a beach. Surf, set, and sand is really bringing the beach right into the gym floor. Hi, right, welcome to Crunch and Surf, set, and sand. Are you guys ready to get started? It is a circuit style class, so we do some of the exercises on the surfboard, and then we head to the beach and do some on with a sand belt. So you really get a complete total body workout. We're gonna come into our plane position, give me some wave runners right here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> if you ever hear the term, the waters are sharky, it means that there's sharks in the water, right? So we're doing our shark kicks. You can shark like that, that's a shark. It's our starfish punches and we will take a starfish. All right, we're going to head back to the beach with Deb. Let's do it. I'm like, I didn't think I was going to stop this thing. We encourage a lot of interactive and work in our process. We did a lot of partner work for this class to just make it super fun. It's a great workout, but you also have fun at the same time. The music's great, it's blasted. It's like a party at the beach. How are you feeling, guys? The